I just got a quick tip for some of y'all. Um, if you're new to rod building or uh, maybe just haven't seen this before, um, I've never seen it before. It's it's a, a way to get your rod guide started without actually using any tape or any glue or anything. And the, I started doing this the other day and had good luck with it. And I actually like the way that you can hide the the um, point of the guides. It seems to do a really good job with that. As you can see, I've already marked the blank where I intend to put the guide foot um, on those paint dots there. Uh, all I do to get this started is just start a guide wrap um, below my mark there. Just cross it over and get a few turns on it to lock that down, hopefully. And once that's locked in locked down in place. I'm just going to go ahead and trim off my tag there. Um, but before I do, I just like to pull this this tag back around to where that guide foot's going to get started. Let me tighten that up. And now I'm just going to trim that off right there. Some more wraps going here. All right, so that's approximately where I want to start my guide on this rod here. All I'm going to do now is just slide this guide up under under where I've been wrapping and try to line it up. I can I'll have some wiggle room on this uh, until I get more wraps on it. So. As you can see there, I think, yeah, you can see the point is, the point is sticking out from where I've started my wraps. So I'm just going to continue on with my wrapping here. Well, let me get that back. Okay. I'm just going to continue on with my wrapping just like normal. And once this gets a few wraps on it, it will lock that down into place. Now I'm not going to have too much trouble with it moving around. And now I'm going to keep wrapping until I get up to where kind of the end of the arrow is on that. They've kind of got a tapered spot that flares out and then it cuts back into the guide a little bit. I'm just going to go up to where that taper is at its widest point with this wrap. It should be right about there. Now all I'm going to do is just back this carefully and slowly back up the rod just a bit. And now you can see that covered in, that filled in that gap pretty well there. Uh, maybe just a little bit more and I'm just checking my paint marks and it's still where I want it so now I'm just going to continue on up the guide foot and finish up my wrap
and that's basically all there is to it. Uh, you can see the end where the point is. It closed out pretty well with the threads. Uh, it just needs a little burnishing there to kind of tighten it up a bit. But it's not too bad. And that's a really quick and easy way to to get those guide feet started on there without any help of any kind of adhesive or uh, tape to hold it in place or rubber bands or whatever method you use. Um, I don't know if structurally it's the most sound way to do this, but um, you know, I'm just, I'm mostly freshwater fishing, lots of ultralight stuff. I'm not too concerned about it. I know that's going to hold on there pretty tight. And by the time you get the, your epoxy finish on it, I uh, don't believe you'll have any problems with it. But that's just a little method that I started doing the other day. I've had pretty good luck with it. Uh, I'm sure I could refine the technique some. I'm sure that there's a reason you shouldn't do that. But, you know, for, for what I do, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, so somebody else might be interested in that method too. Just thought I would share that with you and I appreciate you checking out my video and check out my channel, subscribe if you like this sort of thing and I will see y'all later.